जय श्री राम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम जस्ट रीडिंग आउट दिस एड्रेस ऑफ लॉर्ड मकॉले मकॉले इज द मैन हु डिस्ट्रॉयड आवर एजुकेशन सिस्टम एंड आल्सो द पीनल कोड नाउ द बैक स्टोरी इज वेरी सिंपल राजा राम मोहन राय ए क्लोजेट क्रिस्टियन दैट मीन्स ही नेवर अलाउड एनी बडी टू नो दैट ही इज एक्चुअली ए क्रिस्टियन he is anyway buried in bristol which is a city some 200 kilometers away from london this man who we were told is a great reformer nothing like that this man wrote a letter to queen victoria saying that hinduism cannot be reformed and christianity is the only thing that can save india now he wrote a lengthy letter i just told you the gist of it this lady queen victoria forwarded that letter to macaulay Now Macaulay must have been some kind of an important person at that time. So this chap Macaulay read that whole letter and he realized that yes, there is a wonderful opportunity to do something in India, and uh, he hit upon a plan to completely break the back of our education system so that we Indians become slaves of the British. They wanted to produce brown sahibs. That means uh, people who are educated but uh, like clerks. So now look at this address of Macaulay. he is addressing the british parliament on 2nd february uh, the date is uh, clear 18 whatever i can't see it my glasses are pretty thick now i have traveled across the length and breadth of india i have not seen one person who is a beggar who is a thief such wealth i have seen in this country such high moral values people of such caliber that i do not think we would ever be able to conquer this country unless we break the very backbone of this nation which is our spiritual and cultural heritage and therefore i propose that we replace our old and ancient education system her culture because for if the indians think that all that is foreign and english is good and greater than their own they will lose their self esteem their native self culture and they will become what we want a truly dominated nation what an impressive speech such a short one and the conspiracy becomes clear to you we are all products of this education system therefore we are all macaulay putras and macaulay putris now this macaulay putra i too was one at one time macaulay putra is therefore a person who is mentally colonized uh, uh, who has this uh, colonial mentality the phrase colonial mentality means uh, Uh, thinking that the culture of the invader is superior than ours and so this inferiority complex will be there and such people will try to imitate the invader so this is how in short if you still think speaking if you still think speaking english is being sophisticated and cultured and refined and if you are shy to speak your mother tongue which is telugu or hindi or so many languages are there in india you have any idea how many languages are there in india more than 652 languages and 23 official languages and if you take all the dialects into account it runs into several thousands so germans speak in german language japanese in japan and chinese in china right so they feel proud but we indians when i greet people with jai shri ram they say good morning now i can't help but wonder why when these people will get over this colonial mentality i look at the arabs look at the uh, people of all other nations they greet each other in their mother tongue in their own way traditional way why the hell should we indulge in this good mornings and good evenings which are so very alien to us so therefore stop being a macaulay putra be a proud hindu this does not mean you have to hate the others of course once you read their holy books you will be shocked you will be shocked at the amount of barbarism filth debauchery lechery treachery eh? and all kinds of totally unacceptable immoral activities which are being certified and sanctified as holy duties i have never mentioned any religion here okay so be careful be proud to be a hindu speak in your mother tongue and uh, of course master english too when necessary we will blast them in their own language jai shri ram